there's this really interesting history of these marl pits themselves. So these marl pits were dug in the 17th and 18th centuries as a clay-like resource and used as an early fertiliser. So the marl, the clay-like substance was spread across the fields and these dents in the ground were just left and they filled up with water. And we've sampled in there and our, our net was pretty empty and you can see there's no plants in there or anything. That's the typical scenario of Norfolk Ponds. My research project for my PhD is um, all about trying to find out the value of pond restoration in farmland for biodiversity. So what is the benefit of restoring these very old ponds and digging them out for the plants and wildlife? Can plants and wildlife come back to live in these ponds? So the engagement work we've done, once we found out that we knew that there was a really positive impact, we were then able to go out and we've done lots and lots of different engagement activities with both farmers and the general public. You let the sun in and you increase the oxygen equals life. The Great Twin Pond Dig has been running since 2017 um, and so we had a year prior to restoration, we had a year where the um, different community groups, one in Norfolk and one in Lancashire, were allowed onto farmland and they monitored and had just had take, took regular monitoring, um, looking at what wildlife was there, was there anything living in the ponds? Um, and then we did the restoration in September with lots of uh, student volunteers and the members of the public who came along. So we've done lots of work doing workshops with farmers, trying to educate them about the benefits of um, pond um, restorations and then we've done lots of workshops with the public you know if we want this to actually this research to actually have the impact we've got to do this engagement we've got to do these workshops um, and we've got to find ways to support the community together so we're seeing some really really positive impacts so far we've done we've done this many many times in Norfolk before but in Lancashire, this is the first time we've done this, and we're now showing that the work we're doing in Norfolk and the work that I've done as part of my PhD research can be done in other parts of the country. We've been working on this engagement for so long um, that we've gradually, gradually built up a kind of momentum and a trust within that, the farming community. And so you go along and you work with one farmer, we'll do a workshops, people come along, and then they'll just go and do, they see the work we've done, and they say, okay, well, I can do that with my machinery myself, we don't need you. And they take that knowledge and we've given them the confidence to go away and do some great work um, themselves. So you can have, you know, wildlife and then a really, really economic um, productive farm working in unison, which is, I think, a really good story moving forward.